Hello everyone, Dr. John Bartlett is here today to talk about a very important topic, particularly to the women out there, and that topic is bone density. And why is bone density important? What should your bone density be at various ages of your life? And why is what is prescribed by the medical model wrong and dangerous to you if you are a postmenopausal woman? Now, a new study just came out from St. Luke's Roosevelt Hospital in New York City, published in the Breast Journal, that found that women with breast cancer have a better survival rate with lower bone density. So what they did is they looked at postmenopausal women specifically, over 300 of them with invasive breast cancer, and they found that the ones that had lower bone mineral density had a longer survival rate five years after the invasive breast cancer. So 96% of them were still alive five years after the invasive breast cancer with lower, if they had lower bone density. They were compared to women that had normal bone density based on what uh, mainstream medicine recommends as normal. Now the problem with that is normal bone density is based on a 30 year old woman at her peak bone mass, okay? But they're recommending that normal bone density to be normal for a postmenopausal woman who is, um, you know, 20, 30, 40 years older than this 30 year old woman, has a whole different hormone profile, and by no means should have the same bone density. And so now research is showing that if, if the postmenopausal woman has quote unquote normal bone density, that is increasing her risk of death from breast cancer. And not only does it increase your risk of death from breast cancer, it also increases your risk of death from heart attack and uh, cardiovascular disease. All right. So we don't want our postmenopausal women to have the same bone density as our 30-year-old women. Increased bone density increases your risk of heart attack um, if you're postmenopausal because it increases the risk of calcification of the arteries, which leads to heart attack. Increased bone density also increases your risk of breast cancer death, like we've already covered. Heart disease and breast cancer are the number one and two killers of women in America. Heart disease claims 24% of women through death, and cancer kills 22% of women. Now you may ask, well, if I have a lower bone density, aren't I at a higher risk of hip fracture? And doesn't hip fracture kill many geriatric people? Well, that's the way that it is uh, marketed and promoted, but if you look at the top causes of death of postmenopausal women, heart disease is number one, breast cancer is number two, and hip fractures or bone fractures is not even in the top 30. So you don't have to worry about um, that. The likelihood of you dying from a hip fracture is low. The likelihood of you dying from a heart attack or cancer because you're taking calcium supplements to drive up your calcium because you don't have a normal 30 year old bone density is very very high. So I wanted to present this information to you today. You can check down uh, below the video. I will have the research and citations in there for you. But if you are a postmenopausal woman and you have had a DEXA scan or a bone scan from your doctor, please know that um, part of that is a financial engine and there are drugs and bone scans, all of those things bring money in for mainstream medicine, so there is a reason that they want you to have quote unquote normal bone density, but that normal will kill you. So please um, be careful with your bone density and what is normal and not normal for you, and um, read up on the things, read the references that are in the video below. I'm Dr. John Bartimus, have a wonderful day.